Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm here to talk about my uh, one week old Logitech K400R wireless keyboard with inbuilt touchpad. Now let's compare the size with my Dell XPS 10. It is a tablet uh, tablet laptop hybrid 10 inches, 10.1 inches. And I was surprised to find the size of the Logitech K400R keyboard matches the size. Exactly matches the size of a 10 inch tablet as I said it's a tablet um, laptop hybrid I can actually detach the tablet of the keyboard dock that is Dell XPS 10 so I maintain that it's ouch only a couch keyboard of course it has the inbuilt touchpad uh, with the left and the right uh, uh, clickable buttons where the left one is softer and bigger the right one uh, is more tighter. Uh, I wish it were as softer as the left one. Nevertheless, uh, it has a touchpad with uh, Windows 8 gestures enabled, but the performance is a, a, a bit erratic. You know, the pinch zoom, the uh, the up and down scrolling with the two finger gestures does not work uh, very smoothly. Okay, and after a, you know, after four days. I fell back to my uh, wireless mouse and I am using this keyboard uh, only like a keyboard and I'm not using the um, touchpad at all. Also guys please note the odd position of the shift key and see how small the enter key is. Now look at the Dell XPS 10, look at the shift key out here, it's bigger it's the right size. Look at the enter key. That's how the enter, enter key should be. And look at the enter key out here. Look at the backspace key. Look at the end key and look at the arrow keys. The arrow keys and the shift key, the right shift key is oddly positioned. See, this is the right position. Okay. The left one is fine. It's big is fine. But the right one wasn't. Okay. Um, now you now what is good about this uh, wireless keyboard is that you see in the corner the top left corner you have a clickable left button too that's good you can uh, pull up the multimedia the default multimedia player through the music button the home button pulls up the browser good you have the PC lock button you have the PC sleep button though a tad over sensitive I don't like that it's too responsive okay uh, as expected you have most of the multimedia functions guys the uh, play pause the mute the volume up and down okay the next track the previous track you can uh, also um, pull up the uh, settings you can get to the desktop very quickly with the one touch keystroke you can uh, switch between applications you can do a search no, that all is good and that that probably is there with the all uh, multimedia keyboards these features are these features are actually common okay the function keys are invoked only once you press the fn key which is next to the very small uh, control key my biggest complaint is the keyboard is too cramped as i said it matches the size of the dell xps uh, 10 a tablet laptop hybrid that you probably wouldn't want to buy okay so in hindsight I'm not liking it one bit especially because of that I'm actually cramped to type and as I said it's more for couch keyboard more for fun more for pleasure okay to be used with your smart televisions or when your laptop is connected to TVs just to go through YouTube or videos or play music etc now Logitech claims that um, the battery life with average use 
is one year and uh, I think that's right because I've checked other reviews, other users opinions and uh, they say with average use and judiciously uh, using the on off switch that is there on the side okay that's absolutely correct okay let's focus on the flip side the turtle side I've just uh, you know pushed it upside down and you can see the four rubbery anti skid legs cool so that's that's cool okay in the battery compartment we already had two batteries pre-installed and even has a space to carry out the uh, nano receiver which I'm gonna show you after a while so that's cool okay so the good news is guys the you know this uh, keyboard wireless keyboard with touchpad combo works with the Windows XP uh, Vista 7 8 especially optimized for the Windows 8 8.1 environment okay even works with Mac and some other devices although it's optimized only for the Windows 8 environment especially and the full functionality will get only uh, on the Windows platform especially the Windows 8 8.1 RT platform right so uh, as I said it has the pin zoom the double double finger scroll up and down left and right so that's cool okay but if I were to sum it, uh, sum it all up it's mainly to use uh, mainly to be used as a remote uh, when you're actually uh, not doing any serious typing you know not playing games okay uh, not doing serious designing work uh, this is not a serious keyboard it's only a fun keyboard and uh, for these reasons guys I'm forced to not rate it more than three three and a half somewhere in that region okay and in hindsight I think I made a mistake I thought I could seriously type on it uh, these this is not for guys who uh, do a lot of serious work who write a lot of letters and emails uh, etc you would be a lot better off choosing a wireless keyboard and a separate mouse combo like uh, Microsoft 800, 2000, 3000 etc you know the you can really point very quickly and work very quickly with a separate mouse something like this these are more like um, these are sacrifices guys these are uh, you know these are these are compromises mainly and uh, the, let's talk about the build quality the matte black finish is okay the look and feel is kind of okay it's kind of creaky if you try to rig it if you try to uh, twist it or pressurize it okay a little creaky uh, not an excellent build not too bad either it's kind of okay right so in a nutshell guys um, if you seriously want to use it as an oversized remote and not an undersized keyboard uh, go for it otherwise uh, I have my reservations I have my reasons and I would rather skip it so guys I hope you found this information useful you have a good day bye bye peace now guys let's have a look at the box Logitech claims that this is a play and plug simplicity absolutely correct the setup was very fast and easy just plugged in the nano receiver that you see out here okay and it was set up in a few seconds I was able to use it immediately okay also they also claim that the uh, range is 10 meters or 33 feet which is absolutely correct guys okay they claim it's uh, stylish with uh, minimalistic design I think the look and feel is okay it's fine it's nothing exceptional nothing excellent it's above average but it's uh, not too great too okay with the judicious wise use with moderate to um, average use and switching on and off the switch from time to time when you're not using it you can preserve the power of the batteries and you can pull on for one year which is absolutely right okay they also claim <coughs> that the 3.5 inches touchpad is big enough no I don't think so okay uh, and you don't need a separate mouse I was forced to use a separate mouse because I was finding that uh, you know working wasn't so very smooth so very easy it wasn't so hassle free yeah it gives you the one finger gestures the one finger left tap the two finger right tap or the, the right click yep uh, it had the edge gestures for Windows 8 8 RT yeah correct but the scrolling wasn't smooth the pin zoom wasn't so very smooth either okay so 
kind of erratic behavior with the multi touch uh, touch pad i didn't like it so much okay this was the uh, unifying uh, you know extender for the unifying receiver you may or may not need it if the usb port maybe of your smart tv is too uh, set too deep in you might need it it can act as signal booster you know promoting line of sight sometimes and can also act you know help you pushing the nano receiver into the usb port easily there's just a usb extender which you may or may not be required to use okay the maximum retail price on the box is 3495 i paid 2200 indian rupees uh, which is just little less than uh, $40 but to my mind 15 16 indian rupees would have been the right price look at the performance and uh, which means just around just over $20 something around $25 at you know maximum is what i would have been uh, happy to pay but having paid uh, something more than $30 i'm not too happy keeping the performance in mind so uh, it's not completely bang for buck not good value for money i suppose <clears throat> okay so let's sum it all up guys it's only a couch ouch only a couch uh, wireless keyboard uh, when you're actually you know come when you come home late in the evening tired and just want to have fun just want to see some movies listen to some music go through youtube videos okay just want to have fun it's a fun pleasure keyboard not not for the serious nerds not for the serious typists guys so guys i hope you found this information useful although you may also have found the video a little jerky you have a good day bye bye peace ah huh?